Welcome to Century One. In this video, we will be taking a look at how Top SQL completed queries can help you understand what may be going on when you're experiencing performance issues with your SQL Server instance. Let's get started by jumping over to our performance analysis dashboard. The first thing we can see is that there is some unusually high activity in our CPU chart. Upon further investigation, we can see that this increase in CPU utilization is mostly being driven by the SQL Server instance. So that I can get a better idea of what was running at the time on the SQL Server, I will highlight a spike in the CPU chart and select Jump To and then Top SQL. Within Top SQL, I will select the Completed Queries tab. Completed queries are queries that exceeded the threshold set within the Top SQL source setting. You can view or change that threshold by doing the following. From the Navigator pane, select the level of inheritance within the hierarchy where you want to make these changes. Select View and then Settings from the menu within the client. Make sure you select Top SQL Source in the bottom drop-down menu. You can then change the minimum duration setting to your desired value. The default threshold captures queries that run longer than 5 seconds. The Completed Queries tab will show you each individual query that was captured during this time. However, if you would like to group the like queries, you can do so by selecting the Show Totals button in the toolbar. For purposes of this demonstration, I will click on the Show Totals button once more to view the individual queries. Now I can begin to investigate the queries that ran during the time that the CPU spiked. To do this, we will want to click on the CPU percentage column. This will present us with a sorted view of the queries from the highest to lowest CPU usage. Please note that this value is calculated based on all of the completed queries that were collected at this time. Now that we may know the heavy hitters, we can check to see if there were any execution plans or statements collected for these queries. The check boxes under the has plan and has statements columns will let us know if this is the case. If there was an execution plan collected, you can click on the completed query and the plan will be displayed in the plan diagram. You can investigate this execution plan further by opening the plan up using Plan Explorer. Plan Explorer will be discussed in a different video. As you can see by this example, utilizing the completed queries tab within Top SQL can quickly point you in the right direction when troubleshooting performance issues related to your SQL Server instance. If you have any questions about this information, or you would like further assistance, please navigate to our support website at support.centuryone.com. Thanks for watching.